Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film um, my like favorite makeup products. I don't know what, what exactly you guys would call that. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out my necklace situation right now. I was like too lazy to like clip it, so don't mind me. Laziness at its finest. But yeah, um, this is going to kind of be like my October favorites slash my favorite makeup products of like all time because I've been using these for basically since I started my channel and you know I just decided to make this video to talk more in depth about them and let you guys know why I love these stuff and why I always use them yada 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 so let's get right into it okay so the first thing I want to talk about is face products um guys MAC match master and 7.5 I've been using this stuff since I started my channel. I just, I love this stuff. Um, it has SPF 15. It's about a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable. Um, I'm wearing it right now. More of like a satin finish. So if you are oily, I'm personally, I am oily in the T-zone. Um, I would definitely powder a little, but sometimes I don't powder. If you just have a good primer then you should be good because I never have too many issues with that. So speaking of primer, sorry, this is going to bother you guys. Like This is going to bother me all video. But anyways, I'm um, speaking of primer. One primer that I definitely want to mention is the Smashbox primer. It's in like the little tube. I have a sample. It's in, I use it on all my videos. I don't know where I put it. I literally just had it because I just filmed uh, this look like right before this coming soon but yeah I just had it I don't know where it went it just it ran away from me so yes but I love that primer it smooths out the skin it definitely if you're looking to control your oil that's just not it not like you know for that I use it for I just use it on my cheese because I have a little bit of texture just right here and I use that just to smooth out the skin and I use it on my chin a little bit but if you're looking for something to control your oil, I use the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. This is um a sample, not a sample, this is like the smaller size because I think this one is like 15, don't quote me on that, but it's probably around 15 dollars around there and then the bigger one is like 30 something so it should be like half the price. But yeah, I love this stuff, but I do, I put it on before my makeup and I spray it on and I kind of press it into the skin and then I wait a little bit before I put on my foundation and it definitely helps with my oil. I also use the Makeup Forever um, um, mattifying primer as well as in the gray tube. Um, I just ran out of that and that also helps. I use that more in the T-zone and that helps with controlling oil. So now to move on to powder. I just started using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW43. Um, you guys sh should see this in more of my recent videos. It looks like this. Um, this is not my exact color, so I don't use it in every video um, because I need to get one in my exact color. Um, but I love this stuff to keep you matte and just also to add a little bit extra coverage. This is supposed to be... Um, uh, powder foundation so what I do if I do wear it on top of foundation I definitely use a very light hand I don't pack it on it's just to kind of set the face but I love 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 wearing this by itself it looks so good wearing it by itself I should do a video just using this but has great coverage um you can build it up it's just great i love this stuff i don't use it that often just because it's not my shade but once i get my shade you guys will definitely see it in a lot more of my videos so now we can move on to i don't know brows guys brows okay so i definitely for when i was first starting to like get into my brows sorry my phone just went off but when I first started getting into my brows, um, I was definitely on the Anastasia bandwagon, but I had a bad experience with the Anastasia um, pencils. Um, the first one I bought, the I used it a couple times, like maybe twice, and then the, um, you know, the little where you twist it up, it jammed. So I was like, okay, cool. So I um, went to Sephora, let them know, jammed, whatever. But they gave me another one. 
same thing happened so i was like okay what they're about what 20 20 a piece so i was just like okay i'm not going to keep investing my money in it and it keeps jamming on me i don't know if anybody else nobody else seems to have that problem but it happened to me twice and i was like okay i don't have the money to keep buying it just for it to jam so i went to the anastasia dip brow but um mine's has dried up and i just haven't gotten around to buy it and secondly it's just i don't know i just it was just a lot of effort to use the dip brow in my opinion so i found the brow stylist definer by l'oreal and i love this stuff it's about nine dollars i think 8.99 so nine dollars and guys love this stuff so much um i love it more than the anastasia um it's so much cheaper i and my brows look so good um they have it in three colors i think blonde brunette and dark brunette this should be yes dark brunette um <clears throat> i love this stuff love it and i also use for like a brow gel i use the brow stylist plumper by l'oreal and this is in this should be in dark oh medium to dark these two together perfect it like my brows are always in place it stays throughout the whole day it doesn't smear it doesn't rub off i swear by the stuff they're both 8.99 so nine dollars each that's what 18 dollars altogether and what anastasia is like you know 20 dollars for one thing and again i'm not um saying anything bad about anastasia they're great but i just had a bad experience and i just didn't want to keep going through that whole process so if you guys are looking for a drugstore alternative definitely go for this it's so good i use it in every video and i love it so to move on to concealer i have two concealers um i'm gonna mention both because i do use both but i do love more than the other actually, i actually have three concealers so yeah, um, so I have first the Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. Um, I really like this one if I want a super bright under eye because it's pretty light and it's definitely watery in, consist in consistency. So if my under eyes are feeling a little bit more dry, I will go for this. But my Holy Grail is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 3. I love this stuff. It's like has the best like consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too watery. It's full coverage and I don't know. It stays all day. It's just great. I love this stuff so much. And uh, lastly is um, this my Smashbox high definition concealer. I had this for a while, but I use this to clean up my brows. It's definitely close to my skin tone. Um, I use this to clean up my brows on like all my videos and also on like days that I'm going to class I tend to wear this concealer just because it's basically my skin skin tone just a little bit brighter so it looks way more natural covering up my dark circles and things like that so yeah I definitely love those concealers um, also for, since we're on the concealers, for setting concealer, Holy Grail, Black Opal, um, Deluxe Finishing Powder, and 06 Neutral Light. Guys, this stuff is so good. Like, I love this stuff. It's from the drugstore too. I think this is about $12.99. I had, I've had this for so long too. Um, and it's not anywhere close to being done. So yes, this is great for setting the under eyes and like the center of the face. Love this stuff. I've had it for so long. It's at the drugstore. It's inexpensive. It's great. Moving on to... What should I do? Oh, let's stick with the face. So for contouring, I have two. So I have like cream contour and I also have my powder. So for cream contour, I don't cream contour very often, but when I do, I use the Black Radiance Concealer Stick. Again, drugstore, oh, mostly everything is drugstore. Um, this is an 8003. I don't know, it's just, it's just great. I love this. It stays all day and it blends out super nice since it's a concealer and yeah. I love this and for powder to like set it and just 
regularly contouring. I hit pan on this. I had this for super long too. It's the Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. Um, yeah, it's great. I love this stuff. Lasts all day. Um, both of these things together too is great. Um, yeah, these are the only things I've been using and I love it. It works great. So these are good drugstore alternatives to like contouring and stuff. All right, so moving on to eyes. Um, let me mention my eyeliner. I don't have it anymore, but I do have a drugstore alternative, which is good. But um, hands down for eyeliner, for liquid eyeliner, um, it's the Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Liner. I think that's what it's called. And Trooper. Guys, I love that stuff. I ran out of it like maybe a month ago and I just haven't had time to buy another one. But that's like hands down my holy grail. But I've been using the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense. Um, and this stuff is just as good. This is about maybe $8.99, I want to say. And it's just as good. I've been using that ever since. And that's why I haven't bought it yet because I love this stuff just as much. It's super black, The it has a felt tip, which is nice. And yeah, I don't know, I just really, really like this stuff. It's super matte, I'm wearing it today. You can't really see it because of the lashes, but yeah, it works just as good. So, you know, good drugstore alternative to a high-end product, but I love this stuff too. And I might, I'm not buying like my Kat Von D until this is out and I might even repurchase this and keep using it because it's great. Um, moving on to eyes. Guys, I use a lot of pa palettes in my videos, but <sighs> there's one palette that I just love, and it's the Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is just, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, it just has everything you need. You have your neutrals. I love these for, like, inner corner highlight or, like, a little, or the gold for a little pop of, um, shimmer in like the middle of the lid as your pinks your reds oranges i just this palette is just great it has everything you need for like a dramatic look i used this palette for this look pretty much for a dramatic look for a neutral look i just this palette is great but, but i also have to mention another palette it's the morphe 350 palette um guys i know you guys have heard this all over youtube but for a good reason it's just your perfect neutral palette. Like, it's just great. I haven't used it too much in my video videos recently just because it's like all the rage on YouTube. It's been the rage for so long, so I wanted to kind of give it a break. But you just can't go wrong with this palette. It just has, it has everything you need. You have your shimmers, you have your mattes. I know they have an all shimmer and all matte, but I just love the mix. I just... This is just perfect, honestly. It's great. So, yeah. But if I would have to choose one over the other, Modern Renaissance, definitely. Hands down. So, we're coming down to the wire. Last thing I want to mention is highlighter and lip color. I think that's it. Yes. So, oh, and mascara. Um, mascara, I don't really have a favorite right now, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't. I've been using the L'Oreal um is this no rimmel london um lash accelerator i just started using the volume accelerator which is good but i don't love these so i don't really have a favorite for mascara but for highlighters you guys know my ginger snap um hi this is not even a highlighter it's a baked bronzer but i can't use this as a bronzer it's just like the perfect highlighter you can't if you can see it right there, but look how it catches the light. Oh, it's just the perfect highlighter. I have it on right now. Perfect highlighter for deeper skin tones. It just, it's beautiful. I use it in every single video. Every single video that you see me have a highlighter on, it's this. Like, I love it so much. And I don't have any, like, high-end highlighters because I just think this does the trick. And again, this is drugstore. This probably was maybe around $10. It's so good it's so good and it's like finely milled because it's supposed to be a bronzer it's just not glittery it gives you a beautiful sheen great and another alternative if you don't want to go so gold is the elf baked highlighter in 
blush gems this is so pretty too it's not gold it's definitely more of like a champagne pink kind of color i don't know how to describe it but i don't know if you can see it it's right here but yeah it's just this is great they're actually mixed on my cheeks right now on my cheekbones and i love these two by itself mixed um i definitely like to wear this when i'm going out but i like to wear this one more when i'm wearing like a more natural look because i don't know it's just like i don't know how to describe it it's more natural looking it more it looks more like a glow i don't know how to describe it because like if you use a light hand these are great but it's good for like heavy makeup you can build it up these two are just great and again this was like what i don't know three dollars because elf is like super cheap great guys and finally to move on to lips and i guess i'll mention blush um for blush Too faced your love is king love this blush i wear it every day almost every day i don't wear blush that often but if i do wear a blush it's this it's just your perfect like mauvey pink it definitely looks like super scary but if you use a light hand it looks so pretty i use this in a lot of my videos too and you guys know i love nude lips like i love it so um basically to make my nude lip and it's what i'm wearing right now i love it um i use the jordana coco loco lip liner i use this all the time like brown lip liner coco loco it's so good i love 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 this lip liner i've been also loving teddy bear by mulani milani i don't know why i said Mu, but it's like your perfect mauvey pink with like a brown undertone so beautiful and nyx london i use this all the time right here and this is matte the nyx is matte and this is like a satin finish and this is like what I'm wearing right now and it's so good it's so so good I wear this all the time like every time I'm wearing a nude lip it's usually mixed with um, the NYX soft matte lip cream in London um, teddy bear by Milani and also um, NYX butter gloss and tiramisu those three always wearing it and I love it so yeah so yeah so that's completes like my favorite products of all time pretty much of the month whatever you want to call it i've been using these for so long so these are definitely like my go-to products that i just have not failed me i use it all the time i've never felt like i needed to change up my regimen because i just love how these products work and look on my skin um yeah if you guys liked or enjoyed this video, please like and comment down below. Um, also, please subscribe. It would definitely help me out a lot. If you guys like these videos, like favorites and things like that, please let me know. I'll, I loved filming this. So yeah, please stay tuned for this makeup look. It should be coming soon. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.